Hi guys, welcome to Belle's Bookcase. My name is Belle. This channel is just going to be revolved around books, my bookcase or my bookshelf. What I'm reading, I'll take you on trips to the bookshop. We'll spend days reading together. I'll give you my views on what I'm reading and yeah. So I hope you guys are excited to go on this little journey with me. Um, I have filmed YouTube videos before but they were nothing to do with books. So let's just say that this is the first video on the show. Today I thought we could do a little like get through my TBR with me. My TBR actually isn't too big. I have been like seriously trying to break it down over the last like couple weeks. I'm trying to read like all the standalones that I have first. I'll go through my TBR with you now um, and then we'll get on to what I'm going to read now and start reading. Okay so I'm actually going to start with what I'm reading now. As we all know there's quite a little bit of that was my dog. There's quite a bit of controversy going around at the minute about Colleen Hoover. Personally for me, I've always loved reading, but I have been in a few long book slumps throughout my life. She got me out of my latest book slump, pretty much just with the basic little TikTok books. Um, that was a while ago though, and now that I've discovered other authors um, and like branched out, I wouldn't particularly reach for her books. So, saying that, the Hopeless series. I bought these in, I'm going to say August last year um, and I, I've only just got around to reading them, well starting to read them. So yeah that's what I'm going to be reading today. Purely for the fact that I want to get them over and done with so I can move on to some of the other books in my TBR file that I actually want to read. I mean I've only read 38 pages but you know how easy it is to read Colleen Hoover books. Like, the writing is not necessarily difficult, which is good if you want to reach a reading goal. I would recommend reading her books just because they are easy to get lost in and just, like, quickly read. Losing Hope, um, the second book. And then I can't remember what order these go in, but um, Finding Perfect and Finding Cinderella. I did read All Your Perfects, which is up there, you can probably see it. Had no idea it was to do with the Hopeless series, so I don't know what's going on there, but I have already read that, so... So yeah, Hopeless series. Now for the standalone. So the first one is Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I just finished reading Malibu Rising. That was what I was reading before I started Hopeless. I don't know how I feel about it. I know everyone loves it and I didn't necessarily hate it or anything. It was, it was a decent read. I just didn't love it. I didn't like the whole switching back and forth. It's just personally not my kind of thing, like going from the past to the present. I found it hard to like connect with the characters because there were so many. I was going to go straight into reading Forever Interrupted if I liked it because I thought the same writing style. I thought I can go straight into this and enjoy it but after reading Malibu Rising I wanted like I wanted to change it up a bit. I did like reading Malibu Rising like out in the sun. I don't know, the vibes of the book are nice. The vibes are good. It's the kind of book you'd want to read while you're on holiday because it makes you want to go out and like be in the sun and just swim swim around. The second standalone that I have is Girl in Pieces. The reason that I haven't read this yet is purely because I need to be mentally ready. Um, I've heard that this is very, very sad. That's the reason I haven't read that yet, but I, I'm excited. I'm just scared. I, I don't do well with sad books. It puts me in a bad mood for the whole day. Okay, so now these are books that are part of a series that I don't have the whole series for and I don't want to read them till I have the rest of the series because I won't want to stop. Obviously, I have A Court of Mist and Fury, most people's favourite book of the whole Akutar series. As you can also probably see, I have read A Court of Thorns and Roses. I did love it and I held myself back from buying this so that I could get through my TBR but I just had to buy it. Just so I know that it's there waiting for me. Even though I'm so, I just really want to read this right now. I have to wait. I have to wait until all the other books of my TBR are gone. That's what I'm telling myself. And I've been doing good. Because I haven't bought anything except this in a while. And the next book in a series is Twisted Love. I'm a little bit iffy about this. When it first came out, I really wanted to read it. But, um, apparently this is like, isn't that great. It's the rest of the series that is good. And with me, if I don't like the first book in a series, I don't tend to buy the rest. I've got to wait till I finish the rest of my TBR as well. 
because obviously if I do like it then I'm going to want it the rest of the series and it kind of seems stupid to only have the first book anyway. So this is the last little collection of books on my TBR. This is just a series itself. You can probably guess what series. Comment down below what you think it is in three, two, one. Shadow Me series. I have been so excited to read this. I've been wanting to read it for so long. Um, I got it for Christmas actually and I don't want to start it once again till I finish everything else on my TBR because there's a whole series here and it's going to take me a while to get through. I think the covers on these are so beautiful, like, you can't tell me that's not the prettiest cover you've ever seen. I don't actually have the novellas, I just have the, like, actual books, which I've heard don't really make a difference and I don't really want to go out and buy them if I don't need them. So yeah, so I've got Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, and Defy Me. That's my whole TBR. So the time is... 4.56 um we'll see how much i can get read just quickly i'll show you this is my bookcase um this here is literally just my tbr shelf um my whole bookcase is pretty empty i'm only using two shelves at the minute because i don't want to buy too many books and just have a load on there that i can't get around to reading tiny little tbr that we've gone through these are all the books i've read it is colour coordinated. There are other ones that I've read before but I just don't actually have the physical copies. Hopefully when I finish my TBR this looks a little bit prettier. And this here, this is my little book nook that I made. Um, it looks a lot better at night time because you can properly see but yeah. So let's get reading. Um, like I said I'm on page 38. Another thing I'm not going to be one of those book talkers who sits here for 10 hours straight and reads seven books in a row. I wish I could do that, but I can't. Also, when I finish one book, I have to sit there for at least just like, if I finish it at night, I just have to have until the next morning or until the next evening when I come home from work to recover and process what I just read. I can't go straight into a new book and just forget all those characters and move on. Not unless it's a series. But I just want you guys to have a realistic, um, like, read with me. Because not everybody reads a million books a day. And, yeah. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. So I don't have high expectations. But if I do enjoy a book, I can finish it in a couple of hours. So let's see how well we get into this. <sighs> Okay, I hope books just aren't me anymore. Anyway, let's go. Um, I have to take a quick break because someone is crying for her dinner. Woman. Now we have a happy cat, we can get back to reading. Do you have to eat that loud? My camera battery is about to die. I didn't have a chance to like fully charge it before. So I'm gonna charge that for a minute because I only have one. Bye-bye. Um, and then I'll get back to you when it's charged. The time now is 5.25 and I am at page 56. So I will charge my battery and then when I come back, hopefully I've made quite a dent in the book. <sighs> um, so, my battery's not fully charged, but I just wanted to update you guys. It's 6.17 and I am on page 114. I'm actually enjoying the book. Like, I'm not going to lie. I I'm enjoying it. Um. It's like the first romance that I've read in a while, all together really. I have actually been avoiding romances. I don't know why, I just haven't read them in such a long time. I've just been avoiding them. Um, but I like the characters in this one so far. Because obviously we're not even halfway through. And things can change, but so far I'm liking it. I'm hoping to get like halfway through. Because I mean, I'm like a quarter way through now what I've recorded so hopefully I can get halfway through by the end of the day. Cheese. Okay so I'm not gonna lie I haven't um 
run anymore since I last updated you guys. But I'm back to have my food, wherever it is. And then I'm going to have a shower. Um, and then I'm going to sit down and actually read again. But I've got a headache coming on sometimes. When I have a headache, I just can't read because it hurts. So I'll let you know what happened. I've had my food, I've had a shower, and now I have a face mask on because look at this bad boy. I'm going to go sit in the living room with my fam and, god that light is so bright, um, read some more of the book. So. so I'm back in my room. Um, sorry if I'm talking a little bit more quiet because everyone's gone to bed. Um, time is oh i don't know if you saw that but it's 9 43 um i am at page 176 i'm actually loving this so far i just love the whole vibe of like wanting something so badly not that the characters in the book can't have each other but just that they like fighting against it, if that makes sense. But I just love that whole kind of vibe. But also, I know there's going to be some, like, deeper meaning to everything that's happening. Probably won't finish the whole book tonight, because it's already so late. I might just read a couple more chapters, um, and then finish it tomorrow. I'll show you what my book nook looks like at night time, because you can't tell me this is not the coolest thing ever. Like, how cute. It's got a little path. Also, this is my, um, <laughs> my little neck book lamp thing. Um, if you don't have one, get one, because they're the best thing ever, other than the fact it kind of hurts your neck. Okay guys, um, the time now is 10.03 and I just reached page 190, so I'm like a little bit over halfway through, I think, I don't know, um, and I'm going to go to bed now and I'll finish the rest tomorrow, so, so. Good night. Good morning guys, it is the next day and I decided that it's time to treat myself or even just go and look and I'm gonna go to the bookshop. Um, I need to get a laptop case for my uni laptop so I start my creative writing degree soon which I'm really excited about. Um, so I thought, why not treat myself, go look around the bookshops while I'm there, um, see if I can find anything. Um, I haven't vlogged in public in a very long time since I um, had my other channel or used to post on here and post other videos so we'll see how that goes I might not get great content but we'll see um, I'm gonna go have a look around and yeah then when we get back I'll try and finish hopeless but I've got some other stuff that I need to get sorted today as well so I'll just bring you along with me and we'll see how the day goes hey guys um, I just came out of the shop I tried to get a few little clips for you on my phone but it's so quiet and obvious to film in a bookshop. I did say I was going to only get like one book and just browse but I got in there and I was like, fuck it. I really want to get the Zodiac series that's been on my like TBR, my mental TBR for a long time. I also really, really, really want to read the Inheritance game series, like that is like my most anticipated series that I want to read this year however every shop in store only has the ugly I videoed it so I'll insert a clip now the cover with like the people on it with like the no faces yeah and I really don't want that but anyway this I only bought three books in store which to me is a lot because I don't usually splurge out and like buy a lot of books um especially from Dimmicks if you're from Australia, you know how expensive it is, but I did get one book from Kmart as well. Um, luckily they had it. So, 
a book that I've wanted to read for a long time but I'm so intimidated to read it so I know this is going to stay on my TBR for a while is The Priory of the Orange Tree purely for the fact of look how thick that is um it's literally how many pages is it it's like 800 pages around about but it just looks so cute like I don't know I really love how bad is that? I pick a book up because of the cover I really like the cover and I've heard good things about this apparently she's bringing out a second one to it I heard somewhere um I'm not sure when though so I thought you know what I should get it and at least then it's on my bookshelf and I can read it I'm actually now I'm talking about this I really want to read it but there are other books on my TBR as I showed you earlier well I showed you yesterday that I have to read first a feminist Lord of the Rings okay that sounds cool okay this next book I read the silent patient and I loved it to the point I made my mum read it she's just finished it literally a couple days ago the other book by I don't even know how to say his last name Alex Mike Mike Lides is that how you say it um, is The Maidens. I really want to read this because I like his writing style and I loved The Silent Patient. Um, so hopefully I enjoyed this as well. I just thought I'd check while I was there if they had anything else by him and I did so I was like you know what I'm gonna get it. I know I'll love it. It's a short read. The other thing that I got um, is The Atlas Six. I actually didn't know what this was about. I just saw um, that the Atlas Paradox came out. I don't even know when that came out. It might have been a while ago for all I know, but I saw that that came out and that people really liked it. I've seen people rave about this first book and say that they loved it. So I thought I'll pick it up now and I'll read the back. And I read the back and I was like, oh my God, that sounds so cool. But it's basically about a bunch of magicians um, basically competing to like get into this society. All of them have different um, powers I guess you could say so uh, I got that because then I can read it if I like it I can get the Atlas Paradox so yeah they're the three books that I got um, super excited to add them to my TBR but now I'm gonna head home and try and get through Hopeless I'm gonna eat my food actually before I go because I've just got some food and I'll see you guys when I'm home um, so it's quarter past three and I haven't started reading yet but that's because I have been setting my laptop up I'm finally gonna sit down and try and read some of this see how much we can read oh my god I just got to the twist and that is not what I was expecting um, I had a completely different storyline in my head. I mean, still don't know exactly what happened, but what the fuck? I'm on page 261. Okay guys, it is um, around 7 o'clock and I finally finished Hopeless. Um, I have a lot of emotions about this book. Um, the first half of the book was really, really good. Um, I love like the relationship between the two characters. Um, and then obviously things started to kick off. Um, there was a plot twist, which as you probably saw, I was shocked. Not completely shocked, but I just didn't expect it to go down that route. Um, and then from then on, the book was very emotional. I honestly could not put it down, which is why I finished it now, because there was just so many ups and downs. Things were taking turns that I didn't even expect. I'm sorry if you can hear my mum talking to the cat in the background. Overall, I honestly did really enjoy this book. Up to halfway through, I was thinking, yeah, five star read. And although I did really like it, something about it just didn't give it that five star. I think what it is, is it's just kind of unrealistic um it's hard to explain without giving any spoilers away um the way the book ended and the whole twist behind if you've read this book you know what i mean the whole twist behind it in my head i can't understand how that can happen without let's just say 
being caught or um, like being found out. I think that's where it lost the point for me because I just sit there and think, but like if this was real life, that wouldn't happen, that wouldn't happen, this would happen. But overall the story was good, you know, it held my attention. I really, really love Holder, honestly. Just the bad boy vibe and the, um, I don't know, just like, it's so, he's so cute. He's so cute. Just the things he says, I'm like, ah, oh, give me a Holder. Also something about Colin Hoover's books is they always have the same kind of storyline. In most of the books that I've read, there's always been a love interest that, um, I don't know if this is a spoiler, so if it is, just, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you, pre you can probably guess anyway, because this happens in all of the books. There's always a love interest that knows the main character in, like, a past life or before, and you just kind of know before it's brought up because she does it every single time which is fine because it's exciting but when you keep reading it in every single book it kind of gets tiring so i think overall i'd give it like 4.5 stars i'm just wondering how the rest of the series is going to go from here ah okay i don't know how i feel about this now this is just the story from Holder's point of view. If I can be bothered to read that, maybe I'll give it a go and if not I probably will DNF it. Oh, so this one's about six, I think. And what happens with her when she goes away for six months and it seems like she meets somebody and I guess this is about them. Let me know if you want me to do an in-depth um, I guess like reading of The Priory of the Orange Tree. I feel like it's a very anticipated read for a lot of people um, and I would like to do an in-depth reading of it um, where I kind of go through every few chapters but obviously there's going to be spoilers if you've read it and you would like to see my opinion as I read it then comment down below and I will film a video of me reading that. That wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then please subscribe. Obviously, I am an upcoming, I can't even call myself like a, is it such a thing to be a booktuber? Obviously, there's a book talker, but is a booktuber a thing? I don't know, but um, if you love books and you want to see more content like this, then make sure to subscribe and like the video, um, comment down below your thoughts on Hopeless, and if you've read Losing Hope, comment that down below as well and let me know if it's worth reading. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video.